Hi guys, this video is uh, on another type of robust regression. In this video, I'll talk about performing uh, regression uh, in a uh, in, in a scenario uh, where there is presence of correlated error or the errors in the data are correlated. Uh, one of the assumptions in a multiple regression is that the errors should not be correlated. But what if you have correlated errors? We'll take the same data set. I have added uh, another variable. If I've gone through my previous uh, videos on uh, this particular playlist on robust regression, you would have seen this data set horsepower, mileage, weight, and length. This is a data set on car. Uh, I want to know how mileage depends on how horsepower, weight, and length. I have one more variable here which is on uh, make, make of the car. There are two makes, um, one is Camry, the other one is Figo. Um, well, in this case, we, uh, we expect that the errors are correlated. Why? Uh, well, uh, if, if, uh, if a car comes from a same company, uh, and from uh, from the same make we expect that the uh, errors will be correlated okay the mileage would be very correlated same company same make only the configurations are different so probably there is some uh, you know correlation between the mileage of each one each and every car uh, coming from the same company and from the same uh, make okay uh, similarly, uh, we can expect that the uh, mileage uh, for Figo for all the cars would be correlated and uh, hence the errors will also be correlated. So there are there is chances of uh, finding correlated error in this case. So how do we deal with this problem? Uh, for regression, we will use PROC GEN mode instead of PROC REG. Uh, PROC GEN mode is also used for regression. There are two things, two change in the syntaxes. Uh, the model statement remains exactly same. We will remove the ACOV. We have used it uh, in the previous video. Um, we'll have the class statement wherein we'll use the make. Make is the class. This is got uh, uh, two values, a Camry and Figo. And we'll also use another syntax, repeated subject, which is make here. And the type is IND or independent. Uh, let us run this. So this will take care of the problem or the flaw uh, that is there in the data. Okay. So the, uh, um, the correlation between the error will not be a problem if we use this syntax. Okay. Just uh, remember this syntax. This is uh, very useful. You don't have to worry about the correlated error anymore. You don't have to you know think about what are the ways in which you will get rid of this problem okay so let us straight away go to the uh, parameter estimates you can see the parameter estimates the intercept weight and horsepower and length all the estimates corresponding standard error and confidence level the uh, z statistic and the p statistic in place um, if you want to see uh, without taking care of the uh, you know the correlation effect how does the estimate look like okay so we can use a proc reg right we'll use the proc rate proc reg and then uh, cast data uh, same model statement with the same dependent and independent variables in place and let us run this one thing you will see after running this is that the estimates are going to be the same just have a look at the estimates it's going to be the same intercept is 39.43 weight is point minus point 0035 the, inter, uh, the parameters are going to be all same when we use proc reg instead of uh, proc gen mode but there will be a difference in the standard error and the uh, you know the uh, P statistic. Let us run this. Oh, what happened?
as I said, the uh, parameter estimates are exactly same. Intercept is 39.43. If you remember, that is the same value uh, that we got from proc gen mode, and so are other uh, estimates, right? Weight, horsepower, length, the estimate corresponding estimates are all same. But there is a difference in the standard error and the uh, t value or the corresponding p value. Okay. Um, but yeah, so what happens is that you know there is some adjustment. Now, when we mention the class statement here, we actually tell the algorithm that the uh, assumption of uh, you know uncorrelated error or the errors are independent of each other or uh, we call it iid right if you know what is iid uh, the iid assumption doesn't really hold anymore so that is where we just you know tell the algorithm you take care of it take care of it this assumption doesn't hold so you, you you know adjust the standard error and the corresponding statistics in such a way that uh, the results are not going to be affected well we just worry about the standard error the estimates are not going to be affected much so that's how we deal with uh, you know the problem of correlated error by using the robust regression